we get into today's video, I want to say thank you to Wondershare for partnering with me on today's video. Wondershare has made my life so much easier when it comes to keeping my documents organized and using PDFs. How many times have you received an email where you needed to sign or fill something out and it was not an editable document? Plenty of times, right? You don't want to have to print it out fill it out, scan it, send it, fax it. It's too much work. In today's day and age, we need things that are quick and easily accessible. So Wondershare makes it super easy to not only edit text and images in a PDF, but this website and downloadable feature allows you to do so much more. The PDF Element 7 contains the most robust PDF editing features. It's truly the complete solution for working with PDF documents and forms. You can edit, convert, annotate, and create PDFs. It's kind of like the best alternative to Acrobat if you've ever thought of using that. I find myself using Wondershare to not only sign contracts for work, but also send and manage invoices and things that I need people to sign, whether it's non-disclosures or important forms for my tax guys and my accountants. Some of my favorite features include the annotation features. So whenever I have something going to a client or they're sending me back and I need to make notes on it, you can highlight, call out, add stamps, shapes, sticky notes, and send it back to the person who needs it. One of my favorite features with PDF Element is the fact that you can highlight, underline, call out, add stamps, add shapes, add photos, so you can really get the full picture when you're trying to convey a message, whether you're working on a client collab or you have something that you're sending in for work, like a presentation, everything is so editable. I mean, you can export things from Excel and PowerPoint and Word docs, like all of those can go into this software and you can edit it, which is so cool. It just makes things so much more accessible. The software is very easy to use, super user friendly. I was able to get rocking and rolling within a few minutes. Everything is kind of like drag and drop. There's easy to read buttons, very easy to get started. I love that you can add um, like personalization, like your signatures, you can add signature boxes, you can have it privacy protected. You can even like black out things that you don't want other people to see uh, for privacy reasons. So they really thought of everything with this software. What's also great is it's a cross-platform PDF software for Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android. You can edit, convert, annotate, and create PDFs on all of those platforms. And you guys can get $60 off if you decide to buy it. I will have links down below for you guys, but there's also a free trial, and I will have all of those links down below for you. They're also running a PDF Element Facebook group giveaway, so I will have that down below for you, and then the links for iOS and Android as well. So you can see, this is totally an example. This is not a real document, but I wanted to give you a rundown of just how many features there are. I mean, you can see that I've highlighted, I've blocked out some words, I've added a checkbox, a signature box, and a photo, which can be edited. So you could see how if you're sending documents or client work back and forth, this is super helpful for annotations and getting things approved, especially in a day where things are going to be moving to an even more like virtual setting. This is so helpful. As you can see here, this is a sloppy Joe recipe example. Let's say we were doing some recipe development and you wanted to make some notes on this recipe. You could not only add a text box to give the verbal notes, you could highlight things, you could add arrows. I mean, there's just tons of things. You could also add shapes. I don't know why you would add shapes to this particular document, but I'm just saying that you can do that if that's something that you need. You can also make presentations for your clients as well. Also, if you're somebody who works with PDFs a lot, they have a really great search engine on here too, so you can really stay organized and always find exactly what you're looking for. Since I can't share my actual documents with you, a few things I've used this for recently have been doing my taxes with my accountant virtually. So making sure that everything is approved and signed properly, doing things with my financial advisor, um, reading through some of our creative briefs for video ideas and signing things with brands for non-disclosures. I've done some branding uh, approval things with the brands that I do consulting and social media photography for. And as you can see here, you can 
um, really like annotate things with revising and making notes. You can even add your own signature that can just be, you know, basically like copy and paste it in all the time. It's like ready to go. So this is so all inclusive, full functioning platform that I really love. So like I said, everything will be linked down below for you guys to check it out. And it's super helpful and great for keeping your office and your paperwork organized in a very digital seamless way. So let me know if you guys have any more questions about how to use the Wondershare PDF element software, what I like to use it for, is it worth it? I totally think it is just because I use it for personal and for work and it's very easily organized. And since this video is all about organization, automation and streamlining, I thought that this would be the perfect fit for this video. With that said, let's hop into how I'm organizing and decluttering my office space. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys an office declutter. I let this room become way too out of hand, especially for my mental state. It is just not productive and it makes me very anxious and I end up not getting any work done because my office slash dressing room is a total mess. So today I wanted to share with you guys not only how I declutter and the process that I do it in so it's not overwhelming, but also share with you how I structure a room when I go to organize it. So how I break it down in terms of how it's used, the function of the room, and how I go about making it so that it's very automated so I know where everything is and it allows me to have a seamless workflow. Whenever I try to tackle a project, I like to do it in zones. I have a desk, a closet that has a lot of storage in it, a vanity area, a bookshelf, and a mirror because I kind of use this room to get ready in as well. So it needs to be very streamlined and organized or else it just becomes too chaotic. And like I said, I can't get any work done. So I start in zones and I basically will start to make piles and, and throw things away. I think people get hung up on picking a permanent place for something, especially when it comes to things that probably need to be filed and like categorized, like bills, receipts, but it can be very paralyzing. So what I recommend doing, even if you're just putting some things in boxes or Ziploc bags, I kind of do that with receipts sometimes when I don't want to organize them, just to make it so that you can kind of see what everything or where everything is, what it all is, and get it in a a not structured organized way if that makes sense so i'll just kind of start moving things around and grouping like things together and then i'll decide where they're going one thing i really recommend doing is actually doing a list that helps you just kind of figure out what the space is for so you can see it on paper and it'll help you kind of categorize how you want the workflow to be in that space so i wrote down the functions of my space and then some of the things that are stored in here and it helped me to kind of see, well, you know what, maybe I could move this and this and create space here for that. So definitely write down the functions of the room. Now, if you're somebody who's really scheduled in your workspace, especially since we're working from home right now, at least a lot of us are, you know, you wanna see your schedule too. So if it helps to write down the days of the week and what you're doing on those particular days and maybe kind of match it up to the supplies that you need or the space that you're gonna be working in, that can be super helpful too because if you need accessibility to things all the time, you wanna make sure that those are put in a proper place. I've had this recollection storage system for maybe like six years and I ended up spray painting the handles and everything. I did a, vid a video on that a few years ago and this holds a lot of stuff and it kind of overlaps the different genres that I was talking about. It has my art supplies, it has bills, it has a filing cabinet. So like this is a very multi-purpose area for me and I need to make sure that I know where everything is. So I tried to do it by side. So like one side has all of my art supplies, one section is all of my personal like files and financial information and things like that. And then I have another kind of like office supplies and camera supplies storage area. This would also be a great time to kind of purge some of the things that you don't need anymore and create some more space for the things that you really need access to. Up top here, I have some storage photo boxes and some other things that I've kept old um, like paintings and drawings in. I have photo albums and books that I'm reading or have already read and some more art supplies. 
Now, because we have a house, I like to keep things really organized with our like, um, like our appliances and things like that. So those two binders have all of our inventory of our appliances, things that need to be maintenance with a calendar schedule. If you guys want to see how we keep the house organized um, in those binders, give this video a thumbs up and tell me in the comments because it's a really cool system. For example, we have the services for our propane tank, our septic tank, all of the manuals for our furniture and our appliances, the paint colors on our house, like everything about the home is in there. So it helps us stay on track with when we need to have things serviced. Or like if we have to hire somebody to paint, we're like, okay, well the house is this color and that color. I have a ton of extra school, well, not school supplies, but office supplies and backups and sticky notes. So I'm actually just gonna go through all of these and figure out what I need and what I don't need and try to consolidate so I can free up some storage space. When it comes to filing, sometimes I just need it to be in a spot. So whenever I'm at like Home Goods or Target, I tend to pick up a package of really cute file folders just to have on hand because I feel like I'm always creating a file for something, whether it's like a thing for the dogs or, you know, I want to start a wish list or a itinerary for a traveling thing. I'm a big file person. Even if you don't have a filing cabinet, you can get these and actually use them in magazine racks um, and other like desk organizers. You don't have to have an actual filing cabinet. And then, like I said, I have some art supplies and stuff um, on the other side because uh, if you didn't know, I'm an illustrator and I was going to go to school for that. But anyway, I digress. So the desk area, I have a lot of these like magazine rack, racks and desk organizers and I have a lot of magazine subscriptions too. So I like to just put them in there. It keeps them off of the flat surface, gives me more room and it just kind of reminds me that I need to look at them and then recycle them or take out inspo pictures. Um, and it just you know, Kyle gets annoyed if I have magazines all over the place because I typically do. So having a system for that is also super helpful. My mom always said that having flat surface syndrome was one of the reasons why clutter can become such a problem. So even if it's not super organized, if it looks like it has its own place, like it does in these organizers, it just makes it look a little bit more organized. And then I also have these cute little, I guess they're like, um, they're just paper clips, but they say like file, save, you know, and it just kind of helps me to give um, action items to things. Now over on the vanity section, I have an Ikea mom desk that I use as a vanity. And this place gets super cluttered because sometimes we're traveling and I throw things in a bag and then it sits in the bag or I'm getting ready and stuff just gets everywhere. Or like you can see there's a compact that like cracked and there's makeup everywhere. So this just needed a good organizing like session it was it was a mess we got back from Virginia and I just was overwhelmed one thing that has helped me though is even though this is a vanity area that has you know a acrylic organizer for all my makeup having a bag of products that I use on the daily is actually super helpful and it keeps things a little bit more organized um, and then I'm just gonna vacuum and clean this up with some um, multi-surface cleaner. I also recently discovered these 3M dusting things. Oh my gosh, Kyle showed me them. He uses them when, or they used them when he was away at training last year. And I was like, these are revolutionary, especially if you have a shedding problem <laughs> the way that I do. And my hair is all over the house all the time and you don't want to clog your vacuum. You should definitely check these out because you can just like wrap them around your Swiffer or you can use your hand and they pick everything up. It's so cool. I'm going to be showing you guys an updated closet organization and like tour video, but I needed to kind of get some of the stuff out of there. It was getting a little overwhelming. And so a couple years ago, I spray painted this utility shelf gold, which I actually really love. And I'm going to use this as a little accessories area. So I'm going to put all of my hair stuff and you know whatever else I can kind of merge out of the closet that would kind of function as something to like you know like a getting ready what do you kind of use when you're getting ready you've got like your perfumes and your makeup and your hair stuff and kind of just have all of that in here and definitely shop your house if you can I'm somebody who has a ton of just like random decor for photo shoot props and stuff so I used a like 
glass lantern to hold all of my hair bands, a little herringbone, or excuse me, not a herringbone, a, um, it's like a bone, inlaid bone box to hold some clips and things like that, and a little antique tray for my hair clips. I'm all for using the acrylic organizers and stuff, but I really like the look of something that's decorative and functional and not just something that looks like it's an organizing solution or like an you know something that's made for organizing um for example this ottoman as a storage system so i hold all of kyle's files in there so that way it also keeps things separate the last thing i'm going to share is my planner tote and this is just an expandable tote bag that i hold all of my planner stuff my notebooks things that i use every day so i can kind of take it upstairs downstairs and have everything with me um, at all times and it keeps it kind of organized so I am feeling so much better that my office is nice and clean and tidy and a great environment for me to work and be creative in if you guys like this video I'd really appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel don't forget to turn the notifications on and follow along on social check out Wondershare with my links down below it is such a cool company guys you can save up to sixty dollars with the pdf element editor it's very cool and they're doing a giveaway so definitely check that out because it is definitely something that has helped my workflow process